Five, a problem property sprinkled with trash around it could soon be gone. Tonight, our Nathan Vickers exposed the trashy problem the city's given the okay to knock down the property. Nathan joins us now live at five from that site near Crown Candy, hearing from neighbors glad something, Nathan, is happening there. Yeah, something is happening. The city has greenlit this demo. There's a bulldozer parked out here, and there are signs posted notifying people of the demolition. Now, this property out here belongs to Paul McKee's Northside Regeneration Group. We don't know what plans are coming for the property, but neighbors say this demo might bring some improvement to the area. The sight of a bulldozer brings mixed feelings. Thank you, sir. For Zaid Bonifado, the new owner of the Shell gas station across the street. Honestly, in the building, is it a good thing? Maybe. It's going to look much cleaner. He's been making improvements to the story and its security since he took over in December. I want to be a family place, not just for the riffraffs. And like most neighbors, he was tired of crime and trash piling up at the vacant building owned by Paul McKee's Northside Regeneration Group. We showed you those problems earlier this month. Just make my business look very bad in front of the customers who come from out of town. The trash got cleaned up after Andy Carranza at Crown Candy down the street complained on social media. The city got involved and we started asking questions. A lot of activity up there and, and it's just, you know, it's nice to have it cleaned up. It turns out Northside Regeneration had planned to demolish the building. The city has approved the permits and an associate of McKee says it should start this week. He told us McKee has demolished 65 buildings to date voluntarily, though Northside Regeneration owns dozens more empty buildings around the city like this one. It's also been a crime haven. Alderman Rasheen Aldridge says this demolition means one less empty building holding back progress. I think this will be one positive thing for the neighborhood they'll be able to see of an eyesore now gone out the neighborhood. Neighbors hope it means an end to the trash and crime on the corner. Shame if they would have taken care of that building. Somebody could have possibly used it for something, but hopefully somebody will be able to get that corner and somebody will be able to do something with that corner that is, you know, good for the neighborhood. Something new in the old north. The neighborhood needs, you know, something good in here. There is a lot of potential down here. We also reached out to the city's building division and to the St. Louis Vacancy Collaborative to find out how many Northside Regeneration properties have been demolished due to things like neglect or fire. They're compiling that data for us now. McKee's associate also told us that the demolition out here could start as early as tomorrow. Reporting live, Nathan Vickers, First Alert 4. Nathan, thank you. New at 5.